Phacomorphic glaucoma is the term used for secondary angle closer glaucoma due to lens intumescence. Phacomorphic glaucoma can be caused by an advanced cataract, a rapidly intumescent lens, or a traumatic cataract. As a pathogenetic mechanism, senile advance or traumatic cataract increase the thickness of the lens and may cause pupillary block and angle closer. This iridolenticular opposition disrupts the flow of aqueous humor from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber. This results in the accumulation of aqueous humor in the posterior chamber, pushing the iris root forward, which may ultimately contact the trabecular meswork and lead to the angle closer. Risk factors predisposing to phacomorphic glaucoma include hyperopia, which is associated with a smaller anterior chamber. The presentation of phacomorphic glaucoma is similar to acute angle closer glaucoma. Patients may experience severe pain and headache secondary to elevated intraocular pressure, blurred vision, perception of halos around lights, nausea, vomiting, bradycardia, and sometimes diaphoresis. Clinical features may include corneal edema, conjunctival injection, and mid-dilated pupil. The intumescence lens may be observed pushing the iris forward and reducing the anterior chamber depth. Anterior chamber cells and flare may also be present. Phacomorphic glaucoma is diagnosed clinically. Gonioscopy reveals a closed angle. Initial treatment is directed at lowering the intraocular pressure with aqueous suppressants or hyperosmotic agents. Depending on the degree of corneal edema, laser iridotomy is often recommended, also in the fellow eye, if it is anatomically predisposed to the angle closer glaucoma. Once intraocular pressure and inflammation are under control, definitive treatment with cataract extraction should proceed. In these cases, Cholinergic medication such as pilocarpine should be avoided. Pilocarpine can be associated with a paradoxical increase in intraocular pressure because pilocarpine causes the iridolenticular diaphragm to shift forward and further close the angle.